All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple to do list app, very simple in Bubble.io. This is just really showing you the power of Bubble and how quickly you can make something work. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the data type here. We're gonna add in a new type, call this to do. Create. And then we're gonna create a new field called is completed meaning is the thing we add completed? Field type is going to be a yes, no for this. Next is gonna be description. So what actually is it called? And what chore do we need done? Or whatever it may be that we're saving on a to-do list. So that's gonna be of type text. All right, first thing we're gonna do is I have a index page here set to a column 1400 default builder width for stackless. Then we're going to add in a text element here. This is just very basic design here, guys. I'm just going to go to do. App. Or you can go my to-do list, whatever you want. All right, we're going to center this in the middle here. Then how is someone going to actually input their to-do list? So what actually do they want done? So we're gonna add an input here, like so. Um, we're going to center that as well, guys. All the styling section settings are fine for now. As I said, this is a very basic tutorial just showing you how quickly you can make something in Bubble itself. So we're gonna leave that, not gonna to touch anything for now. Just follow along, guys. And then we're gonna add in a button here and we'll title this save. And we can set that like so as well. All right, now let's actually create the workflow here. So press button save. We're gonna go add workflow. And then when the button's saved, what are we gonna do? We're going to create a new thing and that's going to be a to-do. So create a new thing. The type is going to be to-do. That is, that is the only new data type we have. Press that. And then we need to match the two values here that we added. So remember we added a description and an is completed field. We need to match these with something in our app. So the description is going to be input A's value. I'll quickly go back on this just for a good bubble practice and we'll call this description. Back to the workflow we go. So now description's value and the is completed is going to be a no, which means when someone adds a new thing, we don't want that to be completed straight away. Like we don't want that to be a yes. So I'll preview and show you what I mean really quickly. So to do app, we add in the value, we'll just say buy, buy a coffee. Nothing's gonna show up because we're not displaying this data anywhere for now anyway, but we press save and what I mean is when we create this thing, we don't want that to be completed straight away. It's gonna be automatically a no value. So as you can see, this is saved here, but the input is still full with our old input. So buy me a coffee. So we're gonna clean this up here in the workflow section. After that, we're gonna just go reset relevant inputs like so. And then I'll quickly show you what that means. buy a coffee, save, and then this will clear this text, just like that. All right, so now we've created the basic workflow, how do we actually display our to-do list itself? So we're gonna do this in a repeating group. I'm gonna add that in, and we're gonna go make last here. I'm gonna make this a fixed width of 380. As I said, guys, this is just a very basic tutorial not really utilizing the UI and UX as much, but just showing you the power of bubble and yeah, as I said, how quickly you can really get something done. So we're gonna center that like so. And top of content is going to be a to-do or our to-dos we've created. The data source is going to be do a search for to-do. And that's all we need to do for now. Now, how do we actually display our title of our to-do? So 
Remember what I created the buy me a coffee? How do we actually display that? So before we do that, we're gonna quickly untick fixed number of rows because we don't know how many to-dos they're going to add. We know it's gonna be one column, but it could be in, you know 20 or it could be 30 things they wanna add on the to-do list. So we're gonna untick that there, change this to 100%, like so. And on the repeating group, we're gonna change this to a row. Now let's quickly add in some text and insert dynamic data. It's gonna be the current sales to do's description, which is the heading. You really could call it heading. It doesn't matter either way, guys. All right, we're gonna do that. And then we're going to center this vertically. We're going to add in a button here. And this can be complete. We'll leave that style. Actually, we won't. We'll untick fixed width. No min width and fit with the content. Make it nice and small there. And then vertically align as well. Now back on the repeating group. Press that. We're going to add space around elements, space between. So it means that it pushes the elements left and right. Like so. Like that. Now min height. Let's now untick this and it will fit the height to content as we have that checked and it will fit perfectly to the elements. Okay, like that. Now, I'll show you quickly what I mean. We'll preview this, we'll refresh, and now this will start to add in. So, buy coffee, we have some styling issues here. Let's quickly fix that. Back on the repeating group. Separators, we're gonna add in a 24 width and a white color there. Border style, we're going to set to none. Quickly going into that. As you can see, buy coffee we have there. And then on this button here, how do we actually complete something? So we're gonna press the button, add a workflow. And now we're going to not create a new thing, we're going to make changes to a thing. Like so, things to change is the current sales to do. Now, the field we're changing is the is completed to yes. So when that button is clicked, we're changing the is completed data uh, type, data field to yes. And then let's go back into design really quick. And on the repeating group itself for the data source, we're gonna filter this to only show uh, the list of things that are not completed because we don't want to hit complete on this and it still be there. We want it to go and disappear. So search for to do's. We're going to add a constraint here where the is completed equals no. Just like that. So on the to do itself, we're only showing new created to do's whether it is completed status is no meaning they have not been completed as of yet all right now that is everything we need to do let's preview now back in this refresh all right now as you can see if i complete these will now disappear complete 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 just like that we're going to add in Just like that, they have now added in. We have shovel driveway, buy groceries, buy coffee, do dishes. Okay, we've done the shovel driveway, complete. That's now gone. We've bought the groceries, complete. That is now gone. We've bought our coffee, complete. That's now done. And do the dishes, we've done them, which is completed, just like that. All right, that is how to make a very simple to-do app in Bubble.io in under 10 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please, please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.